Hey everyone, I am Mike of Mike and Test Play, and welcome back to Pokemon Shining Pearl version. Last time, we finally cured the Psyducks of their headaches, and Tank evolved into the massive Hippodon! And then I couldn't move him while, while walking towards him. Like, this is seriously impeding my, my walking speed. I will use another repel so that I can just zip through here. And this is why you definitely want to grab that Defog TM. Not only does it make things much easier in the field, but uh, in battle, fog status lowers the accuracy of everything. Um, yeah. That's how it is. So, um, another ninja. Okay, so you definitely want to pick up that TM, even though you do have to go into the Great Marsh. And technically, it's the only HM-ish thing that you have to pay for. Um, it's still totally worth it, even though it's only ever used... Well, post-game it gets used, but it's only ever used in the main game on this route. So, just something to, uh, to be aware of, I guess. Um, because... You definitely want it for this route. Fog, low, it just, it, you know, it cuts your, every, the accuracy of every single move, except for always hit moves. Um, and that's, that's not fun. Uh, especially since, as you know, I didn't mean to use Crunch there, I meant to use Bulldoze, which probably would have one hit him. Oh well. Um, so, what, what was my point again? I think I had one. Yeah, so, especially since, you know, it's a video game, so it'll lower the accuracy of everything on the field, except for your opponent's moves for some reason, because they'll still hit, and you'll be like, I've missed six times, and you've hit me every time. Yeah, it's just how it goes. I don't make the rules. <laughs> uh, and Tank, now that you have evolved, I do have a trip that I need to make with you, but... I was halfway through a route that it's just it's difficult to walk through because of the tall grass and everything. And I already had a rappel going. I don't know, it just didn't just didn't feel like a good time. But you know what? I will switch out against this goal bad because I don't think you're gonna one hit a tank. <laughs> and we've seen nothing but you for like two episodes, and we're gonna be seeing a lot more of you today, so let's mix things up. Let's Let's bring in Eldstar and have Eldstar just be like, haha, I have Psychic and then ridiculously powerful Kablamo. Yes. I did know you could do it. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't give me any openings. Yeah, that's not how Pokemon battles work. Um. Okay. So you can, you can actually avoid all of that grass. This hippo just slowly comes towards me. Um, but I already have a repel, you know, just, just use a repel, get right through it. Yeah. And then we've got an ace trainer. Finally starting to see the ace trainers. Uh, I always do like that the, for the most part, the different, I guess, categories of trainer are kind of split up so that, you know, ace trainers are they live up to their name. They tend to use more varied teams. Um, you never know exactly what to expect when you're up against an ace trainer. Um, and they've got, you know, they tend to use better moves and you don't face them until later on in the game. So I've always liked that. And um, now we are officially, well, we have four badges. So we're officially past the midpoint. So yeah. We're now past the midpoint. We can now face the tougher trainers. And, um... I like that. I do. Alright, Grottle. I don't know why I chose Eldstar here. I'm just like, Eldstar's next, right? <laughs> uh... Alright. That was good. And that was easy. But yeah, I mean, she had two very differently typed Pokemon. Um, kind of like fighting my rival, but in miniature. And now it's time for... <laughs> the alert 
，六十六岁的黄怀。He's just like, yeah, I'm excited about this rock I see over there. <laughs> Now, this duo is kind of infamous、um, because it's it's more really from it's kind of from platinum, but also kind of here. I mean, this is a dangerous team combination. Gyarados plus Raichu. I mean, goodness, you know, you've got the intimidate, you've got two good attackers.、Um, I'm gonna destroy them because even though it says no effect, and even though Sushi's gonna take a hit here, we've got the moves we need. And wow, okay, you outsped. That's it's not actually surprising because this team is very slow. But <laughs> this is what Sushi is for: not landing critical hits and making battles last longer. But you know, KOing Gyarados is. That's that's more. Oh, you have the shell bell. I do not remember giving you the shell bell, but I'll be happy about it. I'm the, I'm the <laughs> as yeah. Sushi tanks the hit quite nicely, and Raichu goes down in a single hit, even after the intimidate. <laughs> but yes, that that team is very dangerous,、um, especially if you're nuzlocking. And wow. The Pikachu line has been given tremendous. I mean, a Raichu worth significantly more than a Gyarados of the same level. That's unexpected. Like that's really unexpected. <laughs> I do not need more repels at this point. Um. Ah, he'd rather learn from Gen than the greatest trainer in the region, which is. I mean, it's not me yet. It's gonna be. Oh, hello. Okay. Now、uh, you have the Ace Trainer Sprite in the Overworld. Okay, you are an, an, indeed an Ace Trainer. Some of the trainers have the same sprite, and oh, hey, look, a Mothim. I wasn't expecting a Mothim. I really wish Tank had a Rock type move at this point. <laughs> Even though it's quite possible Tank will never have a Rock type move. Um, I haven't taught him one. And I kind of need Crunch, and Tank can learn. Tank can learn the Fang moves,、um, the Ice Thunder Fire Fang. I don't know why I bothered switching Kuzco up. He was just going to do this like every time. So those are more. Those are better coverage than Rock on Tank. So maybe not though. And I want to keep Yawn on him, basically.、Um, Even though I do tend to go for more just the raw attack everything, Yawn definitely won me the last rifle battle.、Um, it is a very, very useful strategic move,、um, and I definitely want to keep that keep that option available, especially on a well a tank.、Um, I have the best nicknames, don't I? Like, yeah, this Pokemon is my tanky of the team. What are you gonna name him? Tank. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Onyx. Onyx. I mean, his design is—you know—he's supposed to be this huge, intimidating rock snake. You know, just that—just the term, giant rock snake. Okay, you expect terrifying, and you know he's the first gym leader's ace Pokemon.、Um, and then he just. He has, he has base forty five attack, and that's just so low. Like that's really low. that's that's you know, starter Pokemon in their first forms have higher than that sometimes, most of the time, and it's just it's sad. <laughs> and like yeah, he has good physical defense and good speed. Surprisingly.、Um, And then you know, Steelix fixes the problem. Steelix has a reasonable attack stat and tremendous defense and no speed whatsoever.、Um, which、uh, you know, thematically it makes sense. It, you, you add, you turn a rock snake into a, you know, you just cover it in metal, and it loses speed and gets stronger. Yeah, that's how it works.、Um, 
Wow, that did not do, like, hardly any damage. And you can see, actually, that's great, because you can see how far Tank has come, because the last Leech Life did, like, half his health. For a Pokemon two levels lower. <laughs> and he was, like, three levels lower. But evolution fixes all problems. Not, not all, I mean, still gonna get KO'd by a good water, ice, or grass type. There is a ninja gym leader far away. Technically, there are two ninja gym leaders very far away. If, if you count Bryson. Which I do, because he's, you know, he's ninja-like. <gasps> TM for Shadow Ball. Excellent. Excellent. I'm going to teach it while I'm dangling on a rope. But Sushi or Eldstar? I'm... Yeah, oh, this is tricky. Oh, this is tricky. I'm gonna go... Eldstar. No, I'm not. <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> I'm gonna go Sushi. And the reason for this... Okay. I'm gonna go over Stomp, because Sushi's just not gonna use Stomp. She just isn't. And Shadow Ball makes her a perfect counter to ghost types. So, yeah. Gonna do that. And because I know that Sushi probably won't learn any other, like, useful moves along the way. Um, but Eldstar more than likely will. I'm hoping Eldstar will. Um... And so, I don't want to have a tough choice to make later. Right now, Eldstar basically has... I mean, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Zen Headbutt are pretty much there to stay. Uh, so Swift is kind of his only, like, move I can replace. Um, and it was the same thing with, uh, with Sushi, except... Hyper Beam can be replaced by, like, a better normal-type move down the road. Um, if, you, if he learns... I don't think she learns any other special attacking normal type moves, uh, but just in case she has the opportunity to, Hyper Beam is viable, and it's kind of just there for a joke, um, because ah, I've got a special attacking normal type and Hyper Beam, why not? Um, but it still is basically like a free move slot, and that's the only Shadow Ball TM that I'm going to get unless I get lucky in the underground. Um, so, better to have it in a place where I know it's not going to get... It, sushi's not going to learn two moves that are more important than Shadow Ball coverage. Uh, so... Yeah, that's basically why I did that. <laughs> that was tricky. I, I thought there would be an item there. Instead, there will be a ninja here. Haha. -ha! You appear where I least expect... I don't think that's true, buddy. Because I could see you. Although, really, if you consider that this route is supposed to be completely covered in fog, I can see it, you know. As I continue to just have Tank destroy everything in his path. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anticipation makes you shudder if I have... I think if, it's a, if I have a super effective move, or if I have a move that's guaranteed to one-hit KO him. I think that's how it works. Um... And in, in this case, it was it was both of those things were true. You know what? You know what? We have seen too much of Tank. It is time. Corona versus Golbat. Pro versus Gold. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Plus, I, I mean, I haven't used my, my ninja Pokemon against any of the ninjas on this route. So, you know. Now I have. And you... Of all the moves you could have used there, you could have tried to confuse me, you could have tried to, like, hurt me, you went for Absorb. I'm biting you. Even though you can't flinch. I'm st I'm just- you, you don't deserve a stab move after that. You just don't. Corona hits level 38. Excellent. 
<laughs> I didn't expect to lose. <laughs> no one ever does. I mean, I guess sometimes you do. Like in life. But... <laughs> Yeah. All right. Bird trainer. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell because of the hair. <laughs> well, bird keeper, I guess. A uh, hoot hoot. Hi, hoot hoot. I was really like hoot hoot because he does, in fact, have two legs. He just hides one. You can see him when he comes out. But he has two legs, <laughs> and yet he stands on one. So it's just it's it's good design. It's it's just fun, fun little design. Oh hey, a hoot hoot and a knock towel. That's cute. And there's knock towel with the two legs showing. So you know, yeah, and. I honestly didn't expect to outspeed there. That was kind of surprising. Although I guess Noctowl was not very fast. And I do have a fairly significant level of... Um, eight levels isn't that much for such a slow Pokemon. But oh well. At least Tank has been using Crunch almost as much as Bulldoze for this stretch. Now well, it's getting close. He's level 36, which is only two away from everybody else at this point. So you know, we're 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 slowly approaching the uh, won't be using tank for literally everything part of the journey. Me lose to someone so young? I dare say not. You know, they have made the sprites better in the overworld because the veterans used to be bald in the overworld and then look like this in battle. So that's an improvement I hadn't actually noticed until now. Hey, that's good. You're no longer bald in the overworld. Like, it looked like they were like, Aha! A battle! I must put on my battle wig! But, I mean, I, I think that's the funniest, like, it's one of the funniest concepts. Like, I, 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 that's my headcanon, and I think that's how it was with the old sprites. You know, because bald in the overworld, and then you start the battle, and you're like, Whoa, they have a ton of hair! So that's... Yeah. That's just how it was. With, with veterans in the original games. Ah. Oh, we're so close, Tank. We're just... We're so close... to getting somewhere. <laughs> uh, veterans have, are also uh, kind of like ace trainers. You don't know what to expect. Um, they tend to use... I mean, stronger Pokemon. So do the ace trainers. Um, but most of the time, veterans will have a fighting type of some kind. Um, it's, not a, it's not an all-the-time thing. Um, but often, I associate veterans with having a variety of Pokemon, including a fighting type. Um, and, like I said a couple episodes ago, fighting is a good type, so it's not like you are like, yeah, this will be easy. Um, the power of youth. It's startling. It is startling. Huh. Anyway. Oh, yay! More berries I'm never gonna use. I mean, it actually makes sense. In a Let's Play function, it makes sense that I'm picking up all these items that I'm never going to use, because it shows you where you can find them. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it. It's not just because my brain's like, can't let items go to waste, must obtain. No, it's, it's, I'm, I'm showing, uh, you know, I'm showing the game. I'm, I'm, I'm showing how to get things like that, that you can't get until way later, because we need other TM moves. But we've arrived in Celestic Town. And I think that this is a great place to end off the episode. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Pokemon Shining Pearl version as I heal my 
at Bodon, who's used like all of his moves. He's like, are we done yet? Yes, it is time to take a break. See you guys next time.